I want to talk a little today about cold protection. Here in Phoenix, we have fairly mild winters. We'll generally get anywhere from five to 10 nights a year of mid to low 30s. And one or two nights of 32, 33 is really not an issue, but it's when we have four or five straight nights of that that will knock some of the tropicals out. There's a handful of variables that go into the equation of whether the tree is gonna live or die through the winter. Length of cold, depth of cold, maturity of the tree, how much root establishment the tree has, amount of mulch, your microclimate, how much sun it's going to get during the day in the winter time. So you can never say for certain what is enough, but you kind of learn from year to year how to deal with it. And one way that I deal with it is using six mil painter's plastic, and you can buy this at Home Depot or Lowe's. You can see here we've wrapped up the entire shade house which is almost 15,000 square foot in 100 foot rolls, 10 by 100. We've clamped it up at the top, holding it in place. And because we get a lot of wind out here in South Phoenix, we have nailed a few stakes against the frame to hold it in place so the plastic does not flap loose. And then we're using Rocks, broken pieces of concrete down at the bottom to kind of keep it airtight. We'll leave this closed up at night and then during the day we'll open this up. This is one of the entrances into the inventory area. And inside here, because we're not having to deal with the wind, it stays a few degrees warmer. I am not heating this this year. The 50% uh, shade fabric up top seems to trap a little bit of heat. My main concern is keeping out the wind. I think without the wind, I'm hoping that would be okay if, if we don't see an abnormal winter. It stays about four to five degrees warmer in here without the breeze. If I see something nasty coming in the forecast, we'll run some fans out here to keep the air moving. This is not difficult to do. You can do this on a small scale at home. PVC frame or wood. Leave the frame up. Use it for shade in the summer. Take the shade down. Wrap it in plastic in the winter. If you're working with a small area or you have something that you want to provide heat to, Run an extension cord out, get a little shop light from Harbor Freight, two, 300 watt would suffice. Hook it up on a timer, probably about 10 or 11 p.m. up until about 6 a.m. And it'll keep it about 15 degrees warmer on the inside. I have heard success stories of folks using a frost fabric made by DeWitt. I believe I have that correct. I have no experience with that, so I can't give you any feedback. Getting your trees through the first winter is imperative. Every year they make it through a winter and a summer, they get stronger. Baby them when they're young. And just learn to pay attention to the weather forecast and understand what your microclimates are. Remember that a covering is generally not enough on a young plant. You're going to want to provide a heat source. if you're dealing with plants that are ultra sensitive to the cold. I try to get rid of most of the ultra sensitive plants before winter gets here. So it's one less thing for me to worry about. If you have any questions, post them in our Facebook group, Living the Green Life.